Hey guys, welcome back to the Maria Antoinette TV. Today is all about these bomb goddess locks. Make sure to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. Y'all already know how I get down over here on MATV. It's all about healthy hair. So I use Cantu's apple cider vinegar rinse with tea tree oil to get a nice clean scalp. And then I did a deep treatment mask to make sure that my hair was super hydrated. And then I blew it out and started the process. All right guys, so I got majority of the work done. I am loving the way that they look and how they have turned out thus far. But I wanna walk through exactly what I did and what I used in my hair to get the layers. And I'll be showing you how I did everything in this last section and I found the perfect routine. From here all the way around, I kept the hair that I braided in at 22 inches. So all of these are super long. See how lightweight they are? Super flexible. Seriously, this is like the best hairstyle ever. I did not really focus on how I parted. If it was straight or not, it didn't matter to me because I wanted them to look as authentic as possible. I have a little bit of texture. You'll see some like knots in it. Those aren't real knots though. I did not technically put knots in my hair. It's just the way that I twisted it and I'm gonna show you that. Super flexible, very soft, okay? You'll also notice that I have different textures at the bottom of each one of these locks. I use three different textures of hair. The loosest texture that I used was the deep twist in number two, which is 22 inches long from Free Trist. I used the majority of this texture. Then I threw in about a handful of the Bohemian Curl from Zuri, also in number two, in 20 inches for my tightest curl. And then I threw in a little bit of Water Wave just to give even more variation in my texture, which is also from Free Trist. Next, I went to my next layers which were up here. Now, as you move up your head, your hair is gonna naturally get shorter. So for these, I just cut the hair in half and I did the same thing. So now you can see why you don't use as much hair. Now we are about to get started on this top portion. I cannot stress enough the importance of moisture. I am using Cantu's Coconut Curling Cream. I love this for styles where my hair is gonna be up for a long duration, super hydrating, and it doesn't make my hair too slick. Plus it smells so good. Next, I'm going to part my hair out, taking a chunk of the deep twist hair that has been cut in half. Because the hair has been cut in half, you'll notice it has a blunt end and then it has a softer end. I'm going to take a smaller section out of that large chunk and that's the part that will be sized out for my braid. Don't over focus on that part guys, it can be so random. Next, I'm going to take the blunt end of that smaller section and I'm going to feather it out, taking a couple strands and pulling it. You'll see that it now looks like the soft end from the original packaging. With the braided hair ready to be installed, we're going to wrap the braided hair around your natural hair at the root. Two legs of your plait will be the braiding hair and the third leg will be your natural hair. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. You do not have to be perfect at braiding because all of this is covered up. So if it's not super tight at the root, that's ideal. You do not want it to be tight at the root because you want to be able to move and it not be too tight and cause too much friction. So let's see that again. Section off a piece of your braiding hair. This is the hair that's going to go in your lock. Feather it out. Wrap it around your natural hair, creating three legs and start to plait downwards. Always make sure you braid past your hair, especially if you're going to use the super glue trick, which I'm going to talk about when we start the wrapping process. Before we jump into the final stage of this process, let's get into the hair that I used. I used the natural kinky braid hair from Do Me in a two and a four. 
I'm going to insert my latching hook at the root. Remember, we don't want that root to be too tight or that will hurt. I'm going to attach my braiding here, leaving one of the legs short, but the length of the braid. Okay, it gives more support and it can make it a little thicker. I wrap around maybe three times at the root and I'm slowing this down so you can see how I create those knotted textures. You're literally going to wrap in the same spot five times. On the fifth wrap, you're going to go upwards, just like I just showed there, and then you're going to start wrapping back down, overlapping each time that you wrap. And it creates this amazing texture. It makes it look like you've grown your locks out and you didn't get twisted quick enough and maybe you have just a little bit of texture. I really like that effect and I do it randomly. You can do it as much as you want to. Now, for my longer locks, I did use nail glue right at the end of each lock. So when I started twisting upward, I put a drop of nail glue and then when I got to this point, I put a drop of nail glue. But because my hair is the same length as my bang, I do not want to lock or glue my real hair so I just have to go with a hand roll on the shorter layers. Edges! We can't go nowhere without our edges slayed. I love Cantu's Edge Stay Gel because it has castor oil in it which is ideal for protective styles especially braids which can put tension on your edges. So your edges gonna be looking good and they gonna flourish. I mean that sounds like a win-win to me. And that's it guys. The more random your sizes are the more mistakes you make, the more authentic they look. So comment down below, did I knock this out the box for my inspiration? And uh, can you see yourself rocking these? Also, make sure you guys check out my last video. It's a summer lookbook. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.